The battery powered Neo Air can either be used as a thermostat or a time clock or a combination of both. Thermostat mode is a default setting. So to change between thermostat or time clock modes, you just need to follow these steps. Use the arrow keys to scroll to the power icon, press and hold the tick key for three seconds. Setup will now be highlighted. Now press and hold the tick key for 10 seconds. And use the arrow keys then to scroll between the modes. Mode one is for thermostat, mode two is for the time clock, and mode three is for the combination of time clock and thermostat. Please be aware that the selected option will then flash. Press the tick key to confirm your selection. Mode select will cancel all of the parameters that were entered during the setup and pairing operations. This process is repeated when the mode is changed. The Neo Air will then revert to the main display screen for the selected mode. Follow these steps once the Neo Air is set as a hot water timer. Use the arrow keys to scroll to the power icon, press and hold the tick key for three seconds. Setup will be highlighted. Now press the tick key once. The display will now show one in the top right hand corner. Press the down key twice so that P2 shows on the display. Press the tick key once. Use the up and the down keys to set the large digits to the board address of the UHA RF wiring center. This is the number that is set on the UHA RF switches. You must use a unique board address for each of the wiring centers installed. Press tick once. The small digits in the top right hand corner of the display will now flash. Use the up and the down buttons to select zone nine. Zone type is then automatically selected. Press the tick to finish and to confirm the settings. The display will return to the main screen. The Neo Air will now operate as a time clock, controlling the hot water output on the wiring center.